Women Life Freedom! Women Life Freedom! In front of downtown San Diego's Hall of Justice, calls for justice. Whether in English or Persian, or written on signs, the message is clear. These people are fed up. Safiya Rashti says the Iranian people have had enough of the Islamic regime that took over in 1979. But for a movement to grow into a revolution, a spark, a precipitating event is necessary. And that happened last month when 22-year-old Masa Amini died under suspicious circumstances. The so-called morality police had arrested and charged her with not wearing her hijab correctly. They say she had a heart attack and died. But the protesters here and many more in Iran say she was beaten to death. Protests began almost immediately, mainly from women across Iran. Protests that come with demands, not just of the regime in Tehran, but of the Biden administration as well. We want to stop, have an agreement or any contract with this regime regarding nuclear we weapon or any other items. The protest here about words and deeds. Several young women following the lead of their counterparts in Iran, cutting their hair. That was just to show my support for my women in Iran. Yeah, for, for the teenagers, the young, young souls that like, they just, they, they've been killed just because of showing like some part of their hairs. Safiya Rashti says all of us can help the people of Iran in this moment of need. They can send a letter to their representatives, send the letter to Congress, to Senate, and to Mr. Biden, the president, and be actual human rights advocate for us. A movement that began a world away makes its way to the streets of downtown San Diego. A movement with a very simple demand, something a lot of us take for granted, freedom and democracy. From downtown John Carroll, KPBS News.